Drum roll, please. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good night, whatever time you happen to be watching this video on my channel. My name is Justine, and today I am going to do something different. I am finally going to show you my entire Louis Vuitton collection, including all the vintage pieces. That's right. If you're new here, hello. My collection has definitely blown up in the last, honestly, like two years. Uh, if you're returning, hello guy or gal, because luxury is not just for women, but guess what? You're gonna see some of these pieces you've already seen before, some of these, some of these things you haven't seen, but hold on to your pants because it's coming at you and it's coming at you fast. You guys ready for this? Let's start. No particular order. I'm gonna try and do all my SLGs first and then move on from there. So when you take this to get this repaired, they take out the date stamp unless you get it sent to Europe. Um, sorry, I apparently reached the maximum amount of, of recording for my phone there for a second. Um, yeah, this too will be traveling with me because I like it a lot. You gonna put that, that'll go with me. All right, what else? Ah. So I have the Damia Ben four key holder, uh, which is not that big of a problem. This is actually pretty nice and fairly new. I have the classic monogram. This one is pretty beat up because I use it every single day. Like this is my key holder every single day. Um, just trying to look for the date code is from 01. So yeah. My two different key holders. I'll go back in my pocket. Oof. Love this. This was my card holder, key holder, pouch, coin purse thing. Um, so I like and love this, but also hate it for another reason because you can't fit too many coins in here before it starts to bulge. Um, your cards and your IDs is pretty easy and that's fine. Cash can only go in here if you fold it in half, which depending upon who you are, sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't. Um, ah, this is a truce uh, coin holder. It's a nice little rolled up coin holder. Isn't that nice? All right, and then this beauty. So this is, I can't remember what this, the name of this is called either, but so, Way back when, I want to say like in the 90s or like early 2000s, the Louis Vuitton sales associates walked around this little pouch in their pot. Like this was their like, um, I guess you call it like the worker pouch. Ugh, I don't remember what it's called right now. I can't remember. I had it memorized before, but I don't remember what it is now. Um, but so this is not a pouch from a Louis Vuitton a sales associate, but this is something that is similar. So Louis Vuitton realized that people like this. The way you can tell the difference between this and a Louis Vuitton employees one is that there's actually the Louis Vuitton button on the outside. You're welcome. Uh, most people don't know that, but yes. So this girl was made in 01, 2001. So yeah, the employees clips down, but it has the button on the outside. Not clear. You're welcome. Another one of these smaller toiletry bags. I want to say this is the 23. Um, you guys saw the bigger one that I had. I can't remember the name of this one, but again, I like this one as well. I use this when I travel too. And I have the bigger one. She be her. I have my Orsay. Um, I, again, I like the wristlets. Um, and they like it just makes it makes things so much nicer uh because sometimes i just put these in my bag i'll fill them with things and then i'll just grab the wristlet whenever i want to get do stuff after work and we're gonna look for a date code in here oh uh, it's one of those oh one 2001 uh so she's not peeling she's not sticking she's actually pretty solid uh 
Ooh. I think this is, yep. This is my Eva Clutch with the Damier Ben. Love, love, love. And of course, I showed you guys in the other videos, I have all three. I have the Damier Ben, the Damier Zor, and the classic monogram. My trifecta is complete. Oh, what's this one? Ah, so this one was the GM um, cosmetic pouch, which I don't think they make anymore, and it looks really weird. I also bought this brand new um, back when I was starting to build my little collection. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, my collection really blossomed and like blew up after I started traveling and living overseas. It just is what it is. It is what it is. 2017. 17 was a good year for me. I was just buying all kinds of shit. Ooh, part my language. <laughs> all right. Ah, my favorite. Um, this is also something that I want to get the trifecta of. I love the favorite. The only thing I did not like about the favorite was this, but it's, this is something that I love about the Eva Clutch because the Eva Clutch, you can't get rid of this, um, this chain but it fits and sits just perfect on the Eva Clutch. On the favorite, I feel like it sits really awkward. Uh, but here is a classic monogram favorite, which I guess they've remade the favorite now and now it looks different than the original favorite, which is also weird to me, but whatever, whatever. They also remade the some more and like remake, like remade it, remade it, if that makes sense. I don't know why they do half the things that they do, but they do because they do. I don't know. My mom has a favorite and she says, you can just tuck the chain away. I don't like tucking the chain away because I feel like that takes away space out of my purses. Anyways, all right. Uh, so here is that other little wallet that I told you that I have. I use this on a daily basis for all of my cards. Um, I have two of them and I bought two of them just in case something ends up happening to the other one. As you notice, this one is a little bit more older, so it just looks a little bit lighter, but same, same, but different. Uh, here is my Eclipse monogram document holder, our passport holder. I love this because I love the print um, and she'd be beautiful. So that's why I bought her. So I have two document holder, or sorry, two passport holders, which I think I'm going to end up buying another one because I want a different print, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I have this cute little thing. So I bought this because this is uh, like a credit card. This is technically supposed to be like a business card holder. Um, I use it for things. Um, I do have cards in this. Um, this is a really cute, compact little miniature wallet. Uh, so I have this cute little hand clutch bag. Um, she's really cute. I want to say she's the more so, um, but she looks beautiful on the inside. She is from, uh, there she goes, 92. She's the, she's actually, this purse is actually older than my brother, which half my purses in my collection are older than my brother, but it's all good. So the front pocket is starting to stick and come apart a little bit, but I don't really use that front pocket, so I'm just gonna carry it like this. All right, all right, all right. That's not what I wanted. <sighs> so another like little pocket wallet in the Damier uh, Graffite. Y'all, this is gonna be like a 12 hour video for real. All right, this was the first Kirigami set that I bought. Um, I really wanted it, I had seen it all over the place, and so I found my sales associate. This was, I think this was the first thing I actually purchased for my sales associate. Um, and that's what made her want to be my sales associate because I love these and I like, she found one for me at a store and I had her call the store to hold it for me and she did and they did and I was happy about it. So I usually put my, cards and my ID inside of this in the little one. Um, so that way I can put it inside of my pocket of what I am wearing and boom, all three. The small goes into the medium, the medium goes into the large. 
and where did that go? So I have three Karagami sets. I'll show you my third set here in a second. Um, God, I have so many of these. I have luggage tags on luggage tags on luggage tags. Like, it's slightly sickening and a little bit ridiculous if I do say so myself. Okay. Um, and of course, you guys have seen that I have the Damier Azor of the Eva Clutch, which I love. I love, love, love. I love everything. This is my Toiletry 26 from the men's collection. She is in the reverse, reverse classic monogram eclipse. It's just a mouthful, ladies and gentlemen. Just a mouthful. Um, and all right, so I have this beautiful long Louis Vuitton wallet. Um, it has all the different pockets. I use this sometimes when I travel for the different currencies that I have so I can separate it and it makes it 10 times easier. Let's look for the date code, shall we? It's probably inside of the pocket. Why do they put them in the weirdest spot? 90. We have, oh God, this chunky wallet. I love it. I love this one. Um, this is not, I'm trying to remember what this one is called. I'm sorry. I'm really bad with the names of all these things and I'm going to try to do better. Um, but this one also has like, I like this one because look at all that part coins. Um, in America, I don't really care about coins. I usually just pay with cards and I get very few coins back. But in Japan, I get coins every freaking day, it seems like. But it'll be all right. So. What's this one? Ah! This is a Etui uh, glass holder. This is for like your sunglasses or for your own personal eyewear. So. I bought it so when I go to travel, I can put my glasses in it when I sleep at night. Again, extra, but I don't want to teen judge months. So that will also go with me when I travel this time. This is a uh, Louis Vuitton micro wallet. This is um, also where I keep my IDs. I put like the super bare essentials inside of this one. It has a little coin pouch. Uh, I use it for my coins. This is my other uh, pochette accessoire, yes, you are seeing correct. I have two of them and they are both pre-loved. One I found dirt cheap because the zipper was jacked up and I went and replaced it. And so I, then I got two for less than the price of one. Made in 2001. So I had this one, which I did not do anything to, got no repairs. This one, I had the zipper replaced. Uh, this is the Jolene wallet. Um, it's pretty big and spacious. I use it for a lot of things. As you see, there's two different types of currencies in there. I also have my other like pocket organizer that I also put in there. Um, but this is the insert for the coins. This is a great restaurant, by the way. Best Kobe beef I've ever had. Um, it just fits in there and boom, done deal. This, this is what I was talking about. So I bought this piece on a layover in Paris. This is a toiletry 26. Um, she is beautiful. She looks like the world. So I bought her because I was coming back from my trip from Egypt and I felt like it was like destiny. And I told the tell associate I could not leave without having this. This is the first wallet that I went have these on with my mom. Uh, so it was actually a very long time before I bought my own Louis Vuitton things just because I was brokey broke. Um, I'll show you later the first, my very first Louis Vuitton, well, I showed you guys my very first Louis Vuitton bag, which was the recital. Um, my brother bought me my, I think, second bag, and then my mom bought me my Neverfull, and then I went halfsies with her on this. Um, I think I remember when I originally bought this, it was $600. I don't remember the name of this wallet, because at the time, I was not very big into, I was big into Louis Vuitton, but I wasn't as, like, dedicated about it as I am today, and so I love this. I don't, I've never seen this before. I haven't seen this since. Um, I probably will need to get the glazing repaired and replaced because this was my, this was my workhorse wallet for a very long time until I finally like bought another wallet, but I will need to get the glazing replaced, it looks like. 
Not necessarily like replaced, but just like fixed. Oh, I have to find the other one of these. Um, so this is the Kiss Lock wallet. So the top part actually has like a kiss. Uh, that's where the coins are. Um, there you go, and it has that. So I kind of sort of like the short and chunky wallets because they are just really cute and adorable. I also have this in a classic monogram. Once I find it, I found it. Um, so yeah, so I have this in a classic monogram. Uh, both of these pieces were made in the 1990s. Um, my only concern and issue with both of these is it's only for the classic monogram, so like that's not super solid. So I tend to use the um, Damier Aben one more than I use the classic monogram. Uh, this is another Louis Vuitton checkbook wallet here. Um, it has different pockets. I sometimes use this whenever, I'm, if I'm only traveling to like one other country, then I'll use this and put my cards in the back and I can put currencies in the front. So the other big pieces, sorry about that. Um, so this is my third and final Kiragami. So I have, sorry. So I have these three as well. Uh, so my mother actually picked these ones up for me. I've been looking for those for a while and I finally found, she finally found them for me. Um, Cause I just, I love that print and I love that color. But what I've really been doing is I've only really been using this one and this is like my coin catch all. this all right so I'm crazy and I'm insane and I don't know why I wanted this but I did but now I have a good reason for having this so I bought a Louis Vuitton essentially a jewelry pouch um, and I bought it because it was really cheap and I wanted one and I thought it was absolutely adorable um, but I'm gonna use it I have extra chains that I'm gonna put on top of this because I have one neck and I don't really wear all of my necklaces so when I travel I will travel with this which I'm going to so that goes over there uh, pencil case so this is another Etui pencil case and I use it for all my markers this was made in like 84 um, this is a vintage piece one of the Louis Vuitton coin purses um, she also is pretty old I use her for all of my one yen pieces which I should probably get rid of today uh, this is an Etui pouch. Um, I use this also for my um, iPad Pro. It also fit my iPad Pro. It fits like perfectly in my side wallet, besides my bag. She was made in 84, so she is also older than me. And as you can see, that zipper is beautiful. This is one of the Tresor wallets. Um, she's in the classic monogram. I would also like her in the Damier Aben if I can find a reason, reasonably priced one. Um, I don't know what all that stuff is or why all that's there. Oh, totally need that card. That is 100% bad. Um, I use her, I like to switch my wallets up about once every week. She was made in 01. So sometimes I'll switch it up more frequently, but I like this one because it's just really small and cute and compact. <sighs> um, if you saw my video before, you saw that this is a newer piece that I've added to my collection. This is one of the um, oh, Danubis, Danube. Um, and she was made in 90, 88, 88. Uh, so you have this one right here, and she is an absolute doll. <clears throat> and then I have my newest pencil case, which I bought brand new during the Rona Rona times. It is in the monogram eclipse. That concludes the uh, part two of my entire collection. As always, thank you. And part three is coming up shortly.